defend this because somebody might want to use their liberties in a way that offends you. But if the offense is that uh, you're not being hurt by it and only they can suffer from it, they should be allowed to do that. Same way with the others on the left side are generally, they're very offended by the fact that if you had all the control of your money, you might spend it the wrong way. Not only uh, they would claim that you have to spend it certain ways and they want to control that. But liberty means you have your choices economically, choices in, in social habits, and also if you apply this non-interference on your personal and the personal lives of all people, then we absolutely have the obligation not to interfere in the internal affairs of any other nation. views that I express and the people that I talk to on the campuses are very excited about this. This is why I am encouraged and believe much more so than I'm more optimistic now than I would have been in before 2007 because I was absolutely convinced that I would not even see a hint of this. Do I know what's going to happen tomorrow or the next week and how far along? No, we're going to have a rough time. Uh, regardless, because if the government just walked away in bankruptcy, it's going to take an adjustment. But I'll tell you what, if a totally free society that I talk about actually made me and others a little bit poorer, you know what, I'd still argue the case for liberty, no matter what. Yeah. But the whole thing is, that's irrelevant. Because if you don't want people to be poor and suffering and no medical care, then, then you have to give up on the policies that we have today because that's what, we're, that's what we're getting. So I would say that it's an argument that we should never lose. Argue the case for liberty, and then you're going to argue the case for the greatest prosperity, for the greatest number of people, the largest middle class, and then we have a society where if the goal in society is to have seek excellence and virtue, that you can do it. It's all your responsibility because that should be the responsibility of individuals and, and, and in, in your life. But if you accept the notion that the government should protect us in a moral way and tell us what our habits should be, or we need the government to redistribute wealth, it can't be done without the taking away of liberty. And that is what's been happening. The greatest threat to our, our country today is not ISIS. It's our United States government and our courts system. And if we had this, we probably wouldn't even have heard about ISIS because Believe it or not, the mess that we have over there, us being in 140 countries, we precipitate these problems. But you've heard that story before. I had that little debate with Giuliani. And guess what? <laughs> Giuliani had to drop out of that race about a month later. <laughs> but liberty is the answer to our many problems, and we have to be determined and easily understood. And it requires some tolerance because some people will spend their money the way you don't think they should. Some people will have social habits you don't think they should. But the rule is you can't hurt anybody. You can't steal and you can't rob and intimidate. You just let people alone and the system will work. Not perfect. There's always going to be problems. There's always going to be challenges. But I am absolutely convinced if you want a society with the least amount of poor people and the greatest amount of uh, enjoyment and freedom, opt for the liberty that we once cherished so much and right now we are reclaiming. Thank you very much.